Hello everyone, my name is Bijan Shafibeg, and for the topic of this discussion, I will be discussing cancel culture. What is cancel culture? The definition from the online Cambridge Dictionary states that cancel culture is a way of behaving in a society or group, especially on non-social media, in which it is common to, complete, to completely reject and stop supporting someone because they have said or done something that offends you. Recently, Offended is a word that is often used in many individuals' vocabulary. Definition. To cause displeasure, anger, resentment, or wounded feelings. Cancel culture is the modern form of ostracism, which is to push an individual or group of individuals out of social or professional circles. Cancel culture is known as a negative expression. Definition. Exclusion by general consent from social acceptance, privileges, friendships, etc. Temporary banishment of a citizen decided upon by popular vote. John Adams' legal representation and the cancel culture. First Amendment. The ultimate, the ultimate good desired is better reached by free trade and ideas. It is the theory of our Constitution that the best truth of the best test of truth is the power of the thought to get itself accepted in the competition of the market. Cancel culture. The start of this movement in recent days started with colleges and universities where conservative speakers have been disinvited, banned, assaulted, and, when allowed to speak, accused of harming students merely by expressing ideas that run counter to some students' preconceptions. In the past, with John Adams stated, John Adams' defense of the British soldiers charged with the Boston Massacre is one of the nation's most important stories about the practice of law. Adams later described his defense of the soldiers as one of the most gallant, generous, manly, and disinterested actions of my whole life. Cancel culture has been around for a long time and has been used for many movements, whether they are positive or negative influences. The key takeaway is that should people really be canceled for thinking and having their own ideals? Canceling a person is going against the First Amendment right and has always caused more harm throughout history and recent days. Social, relation, social relations cancel culture equals negative ideals. The whole movement has become negative for social relations. It has turned into its own beast. Those who have opposing beliefs or views that is going against the agenda of the, of the movement is considered canceled. If people do not realize this is a social issue, that is creating more harm than good, have not paid attention to history or current social issues. Cancel culture creates more division than unity. When social views are one-sided, it is not any different from those who are closed-minded. Those who are closed-minded and push their own beliefs and views without accepting others sets, others sets us back to times when certain social and race groups were being slaughtered. The point of cancellation is ultimately to establish norms for the majority not to bring the stars back down to earth. So a climate of cancellation can succeed in changing the way people talk and argue and behave, even if it doesn't succeed in destroying the careers of some famous people that it targets. Social relations. This means that people are conforming now to have their own views or opinions out of fear of being canceled and their livelihoods potentially ruined. This is where the line has to be drawn where social media and influencers need to be checked. The internet has also made it harder to figure out whether speech is getting freer or less free. The psychological damage being done with cancel culture is bad. We are treating people like a pariah or social outcasts. Social thinking. Social thinking has become more relevant in today's society and it has a huge impact on the way people think and cognitively understand. There are current psychological issues that have been in the forefront of society, especially recently with ongoing current events. This this has all been exacerbated over the recent decades with the introduction of traditional media outlets such as television, social media, and digital marketing campaigns. This is what people refer to as a new age research on how life is supposed to be. Social media and many of these negative views insert doubt in the person's psyche. Once the doubt has been planted, it makes the person overthink and question if their ethics and morals align with what is being distributed through media outlets. This is how so one's social thinking can be changed, whether it is negative or positive impact. Social thinking. Social thinking. Social media has 
such a powerful influence over people that it influences how they think. Social media has become a powerful force in contemporary life, paving the way for the rise of digital participatory cultures and social movements. The seed is planted, then it will sprout new ideals that have been growing to bloom. This bloom can be positive or negative. Cancel culture has used social media to its advantage with influencing people how they want them to think. A person's development allows for mistakes and growth, however, with cancel culture, it has taken this part of development and growth away. Cancel culture has proven that its point is to make a person suffer for their mistake for the rest of their lives. So now it is determined just from this movement that people cannot learn from their mistakes. Recalling what implications cancel culture has created. Referring to the definitions of, culture, of cancel culture is when a person's feelings are hurt. Hurt feelings are not great, but it does not give an individual the right to become judge and juror and ruin someone's life. Cancel culture has skipped judicial steps and reasoning to hear both sides of a story or issue. Now it has become acceptable to slander and ostracize anyone who hurts someone's feelings regardless of what the issue may have been. Social influence. Social influence has a massive impact on how individuals will change their behavior to be socially accepted in their social environment. Social influence is, power, is powerful in the sense that it changes a person's behavior or ideology over time persuasively versus being told to change. Individuals do not like being told how to and what to think or behave. They will rebel or do the complete opposite. This is how psychologists, movements, people, organizations, and businesses have figured out to get individuals to do what they want, behave, act out, or buy what they are selling through persuasion. According to S Saldini, many executives have assumed that this tool is beyond their grasp, available only to the charismatic and eloquent. Over the past several decades through, though experiment, experimental psychologists have learned which methods reliably lead people to con see, comply, or change, their research shows that persuasion is governed by several principles that can be taught and applied. Social influence. People or individuals like to be pleased or please their social environment. The power people have to create these powerful celebrities, influencers, and politicians, and then to cancel these people when an idea they don't agree with surfaces is part of the power of society and consumerism. Figures have lost their jobs, network deals, TV shows, or even gone to jail. However, social marketing has played to individuals' psyche and mental weaknesses to take advantage of them. Advertising slash marketing is well designed in the fact it knows how to keep playing a commercial to the point where people or the individual will eventually give in and buy whatever they are trying to sell or accept the movements being pushed. Understanding the pressure of social influence marketing, persuading people to buy products that is popular or influences them to a popular movement. Just because it's popular does not mean it's the best product or ideal. Individuals do not intentionally realize that they are being persuaded or to say tricked into doing something they really wouldn't normally do. Yet people want to be socially accepted and be in a cool crowd that they allow themselves to be persuaded into buying into these product into the product because influencers and commercials say that we need this product in our lives. Final thoughts. When is having the power to be behind a screen or and type whatever we like without consequences or remember we are humans and have made mistakes have created a new form of bullying that cannot be fixed as quickly. Those who have been outcasted will suffer long-term mental abuse and will need help who need help who said it was okay to cause all this harm. When cancel culture is gone, how will bridges be mended in families and social groups? Humans are unique in where they need to be a part of a group or culture. Humans can forgive but won't forget, and what friendships once were will never be again. So here's my thoughts. Was it worth dividing people and telling them their opinions and views weren't valid? It's crazy how everyone is fighting for equality, but in the process of destroying others, it proves that causes outweigh the means of others. Destroy anything is the past is the path that does not fight for the cause or movement at hand. And here are my references. Thank you very much.